Yo, what's up guys, it's the Goblin, and today what I have for you guys is a double Moab on the new DLC map, Intersection. So this is one of the three maps that came out in the new Face-Off DLC. There was Intersection, U-Turn, and Vortex, and uh, this one is obviously Intersection. So basically what this one is like, it's, you know, it's a straight up Intersection, a four-way stop, something like that. And there's four buildings on each side. This one that I'm in, it's a restaurant, I'm up above it. This one over here is a movie theater, it's a jewelry shop, there's a, a bookstore. And that's about it. But the thing about this map here is, um, you know, first let me go over, you know, the other map. So U-Turn is basically like a street with lots of cars. It, there's tons of head glitches on that one. I, I don't know. It's not really the best map. I mean, it's okay. But you got to be able to maneuver and have a good shot to be able to take out the enemies on the head glitches. And Vortex, uh, I don't, I'm not really a fan of that map. It's a, it's basically like a farm. But there's a cornfield that goes like 100 miles back. And you can just go in there and hide. And I mean, the, the spawns aren't very good. And there's lots of areas to hide on there. And especially with Assassin Pro. And Assassin Pro has been a big problem with the new map pack. Because there's lots of areas to hide if you're playing a 2v2 or a one view on or something like that if you have assassin pro you know the enemies won't be able to see your name so you can just go hide in the bushes and i've been having lots of trouble with that trying to find enemies who are hiding with assassin pro but this at map intersection at first i thought it was really bad but you know once i got used to it and got playing it for a bit this is a fairly good map you know this is one of my favorite this is definitely my favorite out of the three and then this gameplay i was able to pick up a double moab uh, on this map i cut out some of the parts that were slow like a host migration but i got a, a fairly good double moab for you guys the final score of this game was about 47 and 1 i think because all the enemies quit when i called in the moab so let's go for strategy for intersection so as you can see there's four buildings and this one building that i've been in most of the time it's the only one where you can go upstairs the one to the right of me right now and uh, the reason for that is, you know, you want to get up there. Obviously, that's the only elevated position on the map. So if you're up there, you can see people coming out of different spawn points, and you'll be able to kill them. And the spawn points for this map, this basketball court right here, they'll spawn right in that back left corner. Uh, this is the building, by the way, that you want to stick up into. Because you can look down to the left and see the basketball court. And the other spawn is right here by where I'm shooting this guy, this bookstore, out back behind there. And those are basically the two main spawns. They will also spawn, you know, down the ends of the roads, but that is extremely rare. That's like if if both your teammates are ones in one spawn and ones in the other, then they'll spawn on the road. But most likely those are the two main spawns. So if you just have one teammate heading over there and the other one watching, you know, watching over the, by the basketball court, you'll be able to pick the enemy off fairly easily. And uh, I chose a good weapon for this map because, you know, mostly I want 3v3s to be super close, you know, high action gameplays. But this map is not, you know, it's a long range gunfights. You know, th this will be a good map for 6v6. It's actually quite big and there's lots of long range gunfights. So I chose, you know, a powerful weapon like the ACR when normally the 3v3s, you know, I would choose a submachine gun like an mp 7 P90, PP90 on a map like Erosion, Getaway, Lookout, all that, those sort of maps. But this map is actually quite big. All these face-off maps are actually quite big. And there I pick up the first Moab, and then here's the second one. And on the second Moab streak, lots of the enemies start quitting out. So it's basically me against one guy, and I'm just running back and forth trying to take out the one guy. But yeah, for this map, if you're using a party of three or whatever... Um, at first they had it so you couldn't play 3v3 like you couldn't go in with a party of three but they fixed that in the morning you know when the maps first came out they didn't have that and I was pretty pissed off about that because I couldn't play with my friends but now that's all fixed and you can play 3v3s on the new maps which is pretty sick you know you can easily you know just watch all the spawns take control of the map and just like I talked about in my latest video map control map control is so important in this uh, in this 3v3 game modes because there's only a certain amount of spawns and if you have map control you know you're, you're going to be able to win the game so that's why I suggest playing playing with some good teammates you know I've tried playing solo in like the 3v3 and you can sure you can sure as hell get a lot of kills I mean I've got 60 kills in 3v3s before 70 80 kills not 80 on this map but on on um on lookout I went uh, 81 and 3 but that's playing with a party as well I recommend playing you know with your friends have a good time it's lots of fun so let me go over strategies for the other DLC maps you turn there's pretty much nothing you can do. You just want to be able to get them to spawn under the bridge, if you guys know what I'm talking about. You want to stay up top to get them to spawn under the bridge. And on Vortex, you want to get them spawning on the barn side by the barn and the chicken coop. Because if they're spawning out in the back by the cornfield, you have no idea where they're at. I mean, that map you can have Assassin on and they have no idea where you're at. So this this is the second Moab streak. I think two guys join, then one guy leaves, and they both leave when I get the Moab. So it wasn't the fastest Moab. Actually, the second one was a bit faster than the first 
first one because I'm rushing around because I realize, you know, look, I got a minute and 20 seconds left in the game. I got to I got to rush. And that's the thing when you're going for multiple moabs, when you see the time is running low in the game, you got to start going for it. You got to start rushing. And, um, you know, this was kill confirmed with my teammates. As you can see, the tags are only 10 to 2. What we like to do is, you know, we like to capture tags. And then once we realize, you know, there's no hope in the enemy coming back. It's an easy win. Then we'll just go all out for kills. Because there's no point in capping 50 tags and ending the game when we can just hold 10. And, you know, we're destroying the enemies anyway. There's no way that they're going to come back and win. So that's how we like to play kill confirm. You know, it's still playing the objective. We win every single face off game. I and mean, we have 155 win streak uh, during the live streams. Maybe I'll kick that up with the new maps. Uh, live streaming face-offs extend that 155 155 win streak soon but yeah this gameplay is coming to an end i get a couple more kills here and then i call in the moabs hopefully you guys did enjoy this new double moab on the face-off map i think it's pretty impressive to get a double moab in 3v3 especially on a map that's only been up for one day you know i got it on my first day here i call in the moab and then i rush over here and get another kill so leave me a comment what do you think about you know the new face-off map look at this guy camping in the back what do you think about the new face-off maps? You know, what do you think? Um, which one is your favorite out of all the face-off maps? You guys don't have some face-off maps. I'm not sure if PS3 or PC has any. Uh, PS3 might, yeah, PS3 has some face-offs, but PC doesn't. But let me know what, what your favorite face-off map is. And uh, if you guys could all give this video a like rating. If we could hit 1,000 likes, that would be amazing. I thought this gameplay was actually really impressive. So 1,000 likes would be, you know, a lot and would be uh, extremely appreciated. So just go over to that like button and hit it. Thanks a lot, guys. And as always, subscribe for Cookie. I'm out. Peace.